Now our aim is focused and clear on Marvel Studios' Hawkeye. The new original series stars Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye, aka Clint Barton, who teams up with Kate Bishop, played by Haley Steinfeld, for some archery, heroics, and holiday fun. What better way to celebrate the new series than with a good old-fashioned Hawkeye recap? Here to help catch us up on Hawkeye stories so far is Ryan Panagos from the This Week in Marvel podcast. Welcome, Ryan. What's up, you guys? Thank you for having me. So excited. All right, Ryan, are you ready to recap? Well, I'm going to recap the heck out of this. <laughs> <laughs> we first meet Hawkeye in Marvel Studios' Thor as the Eyes Up High Archer when Thor breaks in the shield, unsuccessfully attempting to recover Mjolnir. Marvel's The Avengers finds Hawkeye on Tesseract duty with Nick Fury and S.H.I.E.L.D., who are soon infiltrated by Loki. Hawkeye gets mind controlled, but with Black Widow's help, snaps out of it just in time to help the other Avengers save New York City. By Marvel Studios' Avengers Age of Ultron, the Avengers have officially formed with our guy Clint as a key member. Unfortunately for our heroes, the villains at Hydra have been testing on humans, including the Maximoff twins Wanda and Pietro. And thanks to some of the Avengers AI shenanigans, the Synthesoids, Vision, and Ultron have been created. Vision, he's great. Ultron, real bad. While the Avengers try to save Sokovia from Ultron's catastrophically messed up plans, we learn about Clint's family and they're pretty awesome. During the final battle against Ultron and Sokovia, Wanda's brother Pietro dies saving Clint. Afterward, Clint retires the bow and arrows to live a more peaceful life off the grid with his family. Lines are drawn in Marvel Studios' Captain America Civil War and the Avengers are split down the middle after the Sokovia Accords. We haven't met yet. I'm Clint. Hawkeye comes out of retirement to fight alongside Cap and aw, uh, dang it, he gets imprisoned inside the raft. Steve eventually breaks out the imprisoned heroes and Clint promptly retires once again, but this time under house arrest. When Thanos successfully collects and uses all six Infinity Stones in Marvel Studios' Avengers Infinity War, he wipes out half the universe with a snap of his fingers. Clint's family are among those who disappear during the blip. In Marvel Studios' Avengers Endgame, Clint, consumed by grief and rage, goes on a bloody rampage against the surviving criminal underworld using the name Ronin. Eventually, Natasha pulls him back into the Avengers fold for one last mission, retrieving the Infinity Stones through an epic time travel based heist. Clint and Natasha pair off to retrieve the Soul Stone from the distant planet Vormir. Discovering their mission requires that a loved one must be sacrificed in order for the stone to appear. Clint and Natasha fight side by side one last time, each also racing to sacrifice themselves for the stone, hoping to spare their best friend's life. Arm outstretched, Hawkeye watches as Natasha completes the mission to help save the universe, but loses her life in the process. Clint, soul stone in hand, returns to the Avengers in the present to help reverse the blip and defeat Thanos in one last showdown. Woo! Yeah. Go Hawkeye! This catches us up to Marvel Studios' Hawkeye, where we're post-blip, Clint's retired, his family is back, and they're celebrating the holidays together. This all gets derailed when Clint's past comes back to haunt him. Cannot wait. Ryan, thanks so much for being here and helping us catch up just in time for Marvel Studios' Hawkeye. Before you go, tell us a little about your role at Marvel and the This Week in Marvel podcast. I've been at Marvel for 15 years. I'm a vice president in our digital media group, and I get to do all kinds of stuff, host a lot of videos like what y'all do here. Great job, by the way. And um, yeah, this week in Marvel has been a, a baby of mine for 10 years. We're celebrating 10 years right now. And I co-host the show with Lorraine Sink, who's been on your show, and uh, Tony Award winner James Monroe Iglehart, where we just geek out and get excited about everything happening in a given week in Marvel. So comics, movies, games, TV shows, lots of guests, a lot of people getting excited and hyped about Marvel because we're hyped and we love Marvel. Well, thank you so much, Ryan, for being here. And thanks for helping us out with this Hawkeye recap. We aimed to get a good recap going and I think we hit a bullseye. I like it. Marvel Studios Hawkeye starts streaming November 24th on Disney Plus with a two episode premiere.